Hi, my name is Houston Holscher. I am an employee at the Botanic Garden at Oklahoma State University. I am also a public horticulture major at Oklahoma State University. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a few of the different lilies located around the Botanical Garden. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is Iris domestica, which is also known as blackberry lily. Um, as you can see, there are a few black dots kind of around the petals, which kind of resemble that of a leopard and a few people known, commonly known as a leopard lily. So the blackberry lily, it belongs to the Iridacea family. It uh, prefers moderate to well-drained soil and really prefers lots of sun. Um, as you can see, uh, the foliage on it is somewhat of an iris plant. It's sword-like, as you can see right here. Um, it can grow up to anywhere from uh, two to four feet tall. Uh, Width-wise, it's about uh, anywhere from four, four feet wide. This herbaceous perennial blackberry lily uh, is grown in zones anywhere from five to 10, but flourishes mainly between zones eight and 10. Uh, it is, the origin of it is m mostly from China, Japan, and Central Asia. Some of the uh, ancient practices used for this perennial are causes such as uh, malaria, sore throat, bronchitis. Once the flowers go dormant, uh, the seed capsules bear black little balls, which eventually give it the name blackberry lily. So here we have the toad lily, which is also known as Tricertus. It, is, it belongs to the Liliaceae family. Um, as you can see, it prefers uh, shade, and also it prefers a well-drained soil. Um, it is a fall-blooming perennial. The interesting about this uh, lily is that hummingbirds, as well as wildlife, tend to enjoy getting nectar from it. So on their migration south, they tend to stop by and suck the nectar out of it, which is a real common thing for any of the wildlife. The final lily that I wanted to talk with you guys about today is known as the voodoo lily. The interesting thing is that it's not a part of the lily family at all, it is part of the philodendron family. Uh, the voodoo lily gets its name from the freckled spotted stem that you see right here. Also, you see the foliage, how it's big right now. When, when the voodoo lily flowers, the foliage is not present. Also when the voodoo lily flowers, it emits a strong odor which attracts bugs and whatnot. As you can see, its architectural shape really justifies its presence in the garden. Mm -hmm.